Well, if the, if the preamble has no substantive legal meaning, what is the value of the preamble? Here it is. It specifies the purposes for which the Constitution exists. And that was the purpose of it. The Constitution in its entirety was completed and Governor Morris wrote an introductory statement which said, this is why this document exists. And he also said, this is what's in the document. The preamble distills the values in the Constitution itself. And by the way, uh, any, any word up here that's in red and underlined goes in the blank. Okay, on your notes. So if you see a red underlined word, that should go in the blank if we have them lined up properly. So what the preamble did is it said, okay, here's why we wrote this document, and here's what's in it in one paragraph. So it's really interesting to take it apart for that reason. Um, what document of agreement did the Constitution itself replace? The Articles of Confederation. That were the, that were the articles that the states had agreed to before the Constitution was written. The Articles of Confederation. In fact, they had a preamble. Let me read that preamble to you. Whereas the delegates of the United States of America and Congress assembled it on the 15th day of November, the year of our Lord, 1777, and the second year of independence of America, agreed to certain articles of confederation and perpetual union. And here you go, between the states of New Hampshire, Massachusetts Bay, Rhode Island, and Providence Plantations, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia, in the words following. What really stands out to you? What's notable about this preamble? Providence Plantations. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Which was the name of the state, actually, until just, I think, last year. Yeah, they, they just changed it. Yeah, just now changed it. Providence. What's notable about this preamble? It's between the states. Ah, it is between the states. Between the states. Notice that, okay? Article 3 of the Articles of Confederation. The said states hereby severally enter into a firm legal friendship with each other. What's the, what's the word there? States. These were agreements between the states. Okay? This agreement was among states, not people. And the military and uh, protection and the liberties to be secured were secured for the states as separate sovereign entities. So, with that understanding, when they wrote the preamble to the Constitution, what would you guess were the most radical words in the preamble? In fact, turned out to be the most radical words in the whole Constitution. We, the people. And I will tell you, the most intense debate was over those three words. We, 